Hi, I'm the Barbecue Butcher. Today, I'll be cutting and boning a whole Carrara Wagyu 14 kilo massive short loin, or it is called a T-bone. You have your tenderloin here, and your sirloin on this part. If you'd like to see me cut it with a hacksaw, just let me know, but it's really easy to fuck them up by cutting it by hand. Us butchers use a bandsaw. But we can do that in another video for you. So first, we're going to take out the eye fillet or tenderloin, and you just you're going to follow along the backbone here. So do a little cut in, and just angle your knife. And as you go, and again, and again, it's like a little round little nodules, and come down opens it up a bit and then we're going to do that again and just repeat so you push the tenderloin out like that and you can see it and just run your knife down one more time to loosen it up then remember I'm doing this back to front for the camera it makes it a little bit more trickier so it's not going to be a hundred percent clean and then just peel it off the bone. You can see these bones in here. Another one there. And that's all good. Done. And there's, there's a tenderloin. And on Wagyu, the marbling score is done on the loin end. And a great Wagyu expert Bead was telling me that the tenderloin is very hard to get the marbling into it like the rest of the animal because this muscle is the most tenderest and it does no work so it doesn't sometimes show the true marbling of the whole carcass as I'll show you on this end you can see the marbling it's just one of those things that the the eye fillet will still be very great eating, but it's just not, it just doesn't marble up. So then this one, we're going to start at that end, so you guys can see. And we're going to run our knife down these bones to loosen up the back part of it. Always put your hand how I'm holding here, so it's out of the danger zone. The danger zone, e.g. your blade. And we'll go down there again. And we can Feel it running along the, the spine of the bone. And then you tip it back up. And you've got a bone here. We're going to open it up. Come down. And run your knife inside it. Straight down. And that's going to open it up. So that's called opening it up. Then peel it back at the top. And we're going to find the first feather bone and we're just going to run our knife gently down those and come down there that's going to open it up and we're going to push it to open it up more Okay. Pretty hard to see what I'm doing. I'm just slowly going down the bones and then push your arm down like that, how I'm doing. It's a bit messy. And then again, spin it around like that. And then you can start coming down that way. Once you get further down, this is one big piece of meat, and then you just follow your knife around the nodules so you can get it done. And then we're going to start here. There we go. On there. On there. Here, just 
cut into it and pull down. And again, just carry on doing this. There we go. And then in here, you'll see what I'm talking about, the little nodules. And then just pull it down around that one, around that one, around the bone, around the bone, around the bone, down, around the bone, around the bone, done. Pull that out, put that up there like that. And then here's, here's your whole sirloin with the massive eyes of the Wagyu. The Carrara Wagyu is some of the best eating in the world. And remember on my steak video, it has that big back strap down the end. People have asked to see how to do that again, so I'll show you. Get your knife, go in, and just run it along the seam of that silver skin. Like that, and then just clean it up. There we go. And this part here, we'll just tidy that up again. And then all that, that gristle's gone. And you can even see the marbling coming through there, which is amazing. And then this part here is called the chain. You don't really need it. I always take it off. You can see there. Take that off. Turn your file. Turn it around. Again, a lot of turning around on this because it's such a big piece of meat. We'll straighten it up. And then remember from my other video on how to cut a steak. Mark it. One, two, and then you just cut into it, pull back. And here's a lovely wagyu steaks there. Keep you going. And then I'll quickly trim up. I fill it for you to show you what it looks like. So this has a skin. Just run your finger down here as I'm doing to pull it away. Get your knife down. This is the what we call the side strap. Um, a lot of butchers leave it on to try and make more money from the from the eye fillet or tenderloin, but always ask to make sure it's side strap off because you don't want it. It's not very tender. Come down there again, just slowly take all the fat off, come to that part there, this part down the back, just peel it all off. Yeah. You've got a whole eye fillet that you can cut, which is in another video, we'll put that on there, and as I said, Remember to like and subscribe to my meat channel. And if there's any other cuts you'd like me to show, please send me in a message and I'll do my best to get it done for you.